Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's uh, another semi-beautiful day here in Washington State. Um, let's see. Anya Pagan, or Aaron, uh, really nice job on the book. I mean, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I personally don't have the artistic talent for drawing. However, I do have the artistic talent for sculpting and carving. So... I'm going to be uh, putting up uh, pictures on my progress when I do make my wizard staff. I'm going to go from the raw product to stripping down the bark to actually doing the carving and such. It's a pretty neat uh, little deal that I would like to do and share with everyone when I'm doing it. And uh, you do have a book of shadows while I have my own magical journal. Um, here it is. It has a lion's crest on it. Pretty neat. I, I kind of like it when I found it. I had to get it. It is not, I did not make it myself. Um, that's something that, um, I don't have the time for. I work a full-time job. I have several things I do. I reenact in Civil War reenactments. I teach Cub Scouts. I work 40 hours a week. And I also take care of my mom. So, getting some time off is a very rare thing for me. And I don't really have time to be, or the space, to be actually doing arts and crafts inside the house. I mean, I could work on a project like carving something on a piece of wood. That's not a big deal. But actually sitting down at a table, which is crowded with other clutter of my mother's. And, oh yeah, by the way, I do, I do live with my mom because I take care of her. I do a lot of things that she can't do. Lifting, changing light bulbs, cooking. She can't really stand too long. She's pretty disabled. Anyway, so, like I said, it's just a lot of stuff that is really challenging for me to even try to get done. Anyway, um, I'm just looking out here and just admiring this day. I have Cub Scouts later on tonight. We're finishing up their uh, first aid section and I'm pretty excited for that. That's a very big achievement for them. So, um, y'all have a good day. God bless. Blessed be. And do unto others as you'd have done unto you.